With hundreds of millions of Africans owning mobile phones, citizens are becoming increasingly well connected. This is providing a powerful opportunity for citizens to assess critical information about their parliament and to report on human rights violations, corruption and poor service delivery. These interventions are amplifying the voices of marginalized communities and helping citizens to hold governments to account. I won't say mobile phone penetration has actually helped government to do what is right, but it, what it has done is that it has given the populace an opportunity to be part of this government. We know that everybody, most people these days, use internet-enabled phones. And on these phones, we have access to social media platforms. You know, a lot of interaction is going on. We even have public office holders with accounts, with Twitter accounts. And so there is a lot of interaction going on. People are bearing out their grievances. We can all recall what happened during Occupy Nigeria. You know, true. BBM platforms through different mobile devices, everybody was communicating, even though the nation could have been at a halt at that point in time, but there was communication and it was basically because of these mobile phones. In Nigeria, a simple application created by developer Pledge 51 enables citizens to access their constitution by mobile phone and so far has been downloaded more than 7,500 times. During protests sparked by last year's fuel crisis, where an increase in the price of fuel resulted in soaring commodity prices, this enabled citizens to exercise their rights against police forces. For instance, uh, the past years where we had the subsidy strike, you know, people were able to upload pictures, send message about different protests around the country, and um, also, you know, follow rallies and all that. So people that weren't part of it also knew exactly what was going on at the rallies and all that. So it was actually a way to follow the rally from your home and also make your opinions known. So we are able to actually, you know, put our opinions about whatever the government is doing or whatever a certain person is doing and then have it heard. Misinformation fuel this crisis with few citizens understanding the new fuel subsidy payment or oil revenue share in the country. A local organization called Board IT aimed to address this by generating simple infographics which took citizens through this complex process in the visual format. They have more people arguing on an informed note because they can easily access their constitutions on their phone. And so like you can't argue with them that this is this and this is that. And with the mobile beats, at least um, well, I'll see Nigerian government. The Nigerian government has a passive government because <laughs> there's really a limit to how much people will say and to how much they will change themselves. Sometimes uh, we do our inspections even over the phone. You know where everybody is, you send somebody over just through the use of a mobile phone. You speak to the security man, you know, and then everything goes out fine. Instead of you having to drive through the traffic, that will take you hours. Come on. It goes well. According to the Nigerian Communication Commission, NCC, the figure of active mobile subscribers in the country is now put at 110.3 million. This public figure, according to some quarters, has helped citizens to better understand the country's budget and to utilize the information to ensure that allocated funds are translated into improved services. Now, having more than 10.3 million Nigerians with access to mobile phones is very, very impressive. First of all, it's going to empower people to be in touch with the government. It's going to help people to even do their business as well. It's going to improve a whole lot, you know. So many times you don't even need to embark on certain journeys because when, once you use, once you have access to a mobile phone, you can conclude any transaction, you know. So the nation is definitely going to progress because of this. In many African countries, youth often feel excluded from the political process as young people are the biggest consumers of technology. But just like it is done across the world, platforms should be developed locally in Nigeria and Africa at large to enable citizens to use SMS from basic phones to report challenges in service delivery in all facets of human endeavors.